Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Cave of Collectibles. Today, we're starting with the unboxings. I've got a little one to start off with. I have the DC Bombshells Poison Ivy, which I finally managed to find for a decent price. And I've also got a Lazy Susan at last. It'll make showing off the statues so much easier. But anyway guys, let's take a look at this awesome box. I've got the um, sepia, sepia tone variant, as you can see. The actual original colour one is getting very, very expensive and going for hundreds of dollars. And honestly, I'm happy with this one. I like it. It's the same statue, just a slightly different paint job. Poison Ivy is one of my favourite characters, so I was really happy to get a hold of this, the um, bombshell statue of her. So as you can see, the front of the box, just a picture of the statue itself. On the side, we've got a close-up from a different view. On the back, we have the information like normal and some other statues in the range. Now I have that Batwoman and I probably won't get that Harley Quinn. I'm not too keen on it. On the other side, we've just got a picture of the actual statue itself, a full, a full picture. I don't know the correct words, but you know what it is. On the top of the box, we have the Poison Ivy bombshell artwork, the same one that's normally on the little tags on the base plate. And on the bottom, you can see that this is number 665 of 5,000. Anyways, I'll pull out the polystyrene and we will have a look. So here we go. I've cut it already. The top's popped open. There's a bit of, um, well, there's a lot of foam in this packet. I can already see it up there. I know I've watched a few other unboxings of this statue. It is a very delicate piece and you need to be very, very careful with it. So I encourage you, if you're going to get this, just be careful when you take it out of the box. In the top, I've already cut the polystyrene. The, um, I can't talk today. I've already cut the sellotape. I've got one of the vines up there. And in the bottom half of the box, we have the statue base. Poison Ivy herself, who is actually attached to the base and the nameplate. And some more vines. So I will put this behind and we will take it out and have a look. And then you guys can have some close-ups. Begin by Ivy herself. The best way to begin all of these statues now i know this is a really really super delicate piece but look how beautiful it is you can see all the tattoos on her arms which i think look stunning that's actually pretty cool you've got like the bat logo there on one of her elbows all the vines wrapping around her sorry it's just a bit of fluff the little bows on her legs now that bit of vine is actually attached and on this elbow, we have a little butterfly. And, and you can see, hopefully you can see from there, all the tattoos going up her back and down her arms. And even on the back of her neck, which I'll try and get a close-up for you in a bit. But that is, I'm really happy with that. It is a beautiful piece, a beautiful sculpt. The paintwork itself looks pretty good. In most areas, like I said before, the DC Bombshells range tends to be pretty strong and I haven't really had many issues with them in the past. But there is just a little bit where it's overlapped down there, but well, the vines will wrap around so you won't see it, so it's not an issue for me. Okay, I think we should start with some of these smaller vines. Now these are all wedged in here with bits of foam so they are a little bit tricky to get out and like i said before be super super delicate with this super careful because these are really really delicate as you can see from this one which is uh, just not enough space there we go as you can see all the detail, the flowers have got like little heads there, like they're about to eat. I actually really like the sepia tone variant of this. It's actually really nice. It complements the other bombshells well without looking too out of place. The only thing I wish they would have done is kept this base silver rather than the sepia tone. I think the base is where it really looks different. Now, I've noticed as well these little... 
magnetized bits that peg into the base. And they're all different shapes, so you can only put the magnet in one place, and plus you've also got B up there, which is probably the easier way. And in the sides of these holes here, you actually have where they go. So this is B, which is that one, I believe. So this should slot in and sort of flow around her back like that. So turn it around so you can see what it's like with this one in there. It's sort of wrapping her up, which actually looks quite cool. She's sitting down and she's got all these vines growing up around her. Now that is actually the smallest vine we add in. Let's add this one next. This is number or letter A. Give you guys a bit of a close up. Another one of the flowers or fly traps opening up to bite you, bite something. Can't see any damage on this piece. That looks like a Venus fly trap there, so that's just a mutant flower. <laughs> something of Ivy's creation but I think this base of all the bombshell bases is actually my favorite I think it most suits the character I think it most brings out well just brings out life in the character it's who poison Ivy is caretaker or caretaker of the green caretaker is not the right word but agent of the green might be better and in the top, we have this massive bit of vine with like the little love heart. I really can't talk today with a little love heart shape on the top. And a couple more of the flowers or plants that are eating you. A few more of the fly traps. This is actually a really, really elaborate statue. The more I look at it, the more elaborate the piece actually is with all the vines wrapping around her. Even the hair looks awesome on this piece. So there's actually two magnets in this one. This has got C and D. And plugs in directly behind Ivy herself. Um, looks like it goes that way. There we go. It leans back a little bit. And that is the completed piece, guys. That is absolutely awesome. I think it's... Actually not complete yet. We're missing the nameplate, which is right here. Almost there. There we go. If you see what I mean, it's slightly more sepia. A little bit more bronzy, goldy sort of colour. Which I think just looks that little bit out of place with the other bright silver base plates. There we go. Now I've got the completed piece, guys. That is absolutely an absolutely awesome statue and I'm loving this Lazy Susan it makes it so much easier you can actually see all the details in her stockings as well it is awesome the eyes are great you've got the pupils you've got the light reflecting off them it's an awesome piece guys I'll quickly cut and we will have some close ups for you there we are I'm not just cutting off a little bit of the base but I tried to avoid Ray in the background, so it would focus solely on Ivy. Just turn it around slowly. This makes it so much more smoother. Oh, you can see the little flower she's got in her hair. The little um, bun she's got on top of her head, the way she's got her hair tied. I'm not sure if you can see, but she's got tattoos down her neck, right at the back near the hairline. Her shoes are glossy black paint. It is an awesome statue. There are so many different things that strike me about it. It's, it's going to look great on the shelf. It's a shame I've had to move my bombshells right up to the top for the moment, but it is what it is. You have to work with the space you've got. There's the butterfly on the elbow again. But yeah, that is an awesome piece. I'm not sure I've got too much more to say about it now. If you guys want to see a review in a couple of weeks after it's been sitting on the shelf a while and I've got more opinions on it, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, guys, please like, subscribe, every like, every comment. All of that stuff helps. Anyway, guys, until the next unboxing.
Okay